How the uh, new freshmen look so far? Well, you know, we've only had one, I guess, official day, but we took our, what we did, you're allowed two hours of two hours a week, and we didn't do anything Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday to get two hours in Thursday, and then today becomes now you get 20 hours, so the rule kind of changes today, so a lot of teams are starting today. We've had them all summer, um, and then we gave them time off when summer school was over. We gave them 10 days off. They came back last week. We got a couple workouts in, and then we kind of gave them Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday to get adjusted, and knowing that the grind starts on Thursday. So, you know, yesterday was good. The summer's been very good. Um, they've all done a really good job, you know, and, and not just the freshmen. You got, so I was talking to Gigi here, you know, Gigi's grown an inch. He's 6'11". He's gained 20 pounds from his freshman season. So, you know, Gigi comes in here 6'11", 220. That's different than last year, 6'10", you know, about a buck 99. And, you know, so that's what you want to see. Freshmen look a little bit different when they're sophomores and then Looking at guys like Isaac and Bryce, you know, they look like upperclassmen now. They've gotten stronger and bigger. And so going into the season, we're excited. We're healthy. We're a little bit deeper than what we have been. Um, and as you mentioned, those freshmen are going to play a key role because um, I think they're going to get some good run. What do you want to learn about this team in the next week or two? Well, we know we're going to have to play a little bit differently depending on lineups. Um, but we have some versatility this year that I haven't had. Um, playing Jonah at a big guard. That's different than Norman Powell, who I've had for three or two years. Norman is your prototype kind of 6'4", six, 6'5", six, guard. Jonah's 6'9", with a 7'4", wingspan. Uh, it's a little bit different. He's not Norman. Norman was very good off the bounce. Jonah can do some other things. Uh, he can post. He's a very, very good passer. Uh, so being able to play him at a big guard and then going smaller, where you can put, whether it's Aaron, Prince, combination, Bryce, Isaac, going a little bit smaller and quicker, but then moving Jonah around and being able to have that versatility. Being able to possibly play big, big, you know, and, and being able to play Tom and Tony together some. Uh, we have that versatility now this year because we've got some depth. Last year, because of no depth, I couldn't do that. It was strictly one for the other. But Thomas had a great summer. Uh, one goal on the USA basketball team. He's gained a lot of momentum, a lot of confidence, and Tony knows this is his last go. So I like what I'm seeing out of the big. So to get them more minutes, I'm going to have to probably play them together a little bit. But I have that flexibility. So it's not just seeing what I need to see out of them. It's kind of doing some different things with what we do offensively and defensively to see what combinations I do what with. Where do you see uh, Prince and Aaron fitting in? Are they just kind of all three guard spots or? Yeah, I think you'll see Aaron more point guard uh, and probably some off guard. I don't, I don't think you'll see him at the big guard, although he thinks he's big. Um, <laughs> but he'll probably be, you know, that one-two combo um, like Bryce is. And then you'll see Prince probably in that two-three spot, depending on how we play. But Prince can play either of the two and the three, and, and Aaron can go one. But we can also take Aaron off the ball, very similar to what we do with Bryce. When Tony and Tom are on the floor together, how does that alter each of their roles? Well, that's what we got to kind of see uh, here. The roles aren't going to change. It's just how we're going to play defensively. You know, whether we can man, if we do man, who's guarding the forward. Um, so we'll figure that out here in the preseason. Uh, do we zone some with that lineup? Um, who do we play alongside of them when we go big, big like that? Because when we go big, big like that, we don't want to become slow. Uh, now, both of those guys are running really well. I'm not saying we're slow then, but it's different than in years past when maybe Kyle or Travis or Kavon have been our fours all the time. Gigi, you know, it can be that four. Alex can be that four. Jonah can be that four. But we also have the versatility of going big, big. So when we go big, big, I think we got to figure out, okay, we got to make sure we have a lot of speed on the court in the backcourt to kind of complement what we're trying to do playing big, big. How did Jonah recover from the knee injury? How is he He's been tremendous. Down? You know, he had uh, it happened at a good time. If it was going to happen, that was the time to happen. So he's fully recovered. He's had he's got nothing against him. Um, Gigi's had a little bit of tendonitis in uh, in his knees, so he's kind of been slow coming back. But he was nearly full yesterday, and I think he'll probably be more full today. So we've really started kind of started camp here uh, pretty healthy. But but Jonah's 100 percent. When did Jonas, uh, when was he able to start going full speed? Oh, Shane, Shane would know. I, 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 it all runs together. He, he missed, uh, 
Do you know? He, it was spring, wasn't it? He's had most of the summer. Yeah, he, he's been with us most of the summer, so I don't know the exact. Shane, our trainer, might be able to help you with that. I don't know the exact dates, but he hasn't missed hardly anything this summer in what we're doing. He's been full pretty much, though. At least from July on, I know he's been full because he's been in all of our practices. Talk about filling in for Norman on the court, different things he could do. Yeah, you know, it's hard because Norman was a, you know, was a warrior guy here, and with me, in the last two years, minutes, everything that we've asked him to do, obviously, have gone up because of our need for him. and. Um, he was really good defensively. He was strong. He was a guy you could go to for a basket. Uh, and I just thought he kept getting better, you know. And so, and, and come on, I got to throw Kavon in there too, just because that, you know, he's your leading rebounder. And so when you lose two guys in the NBA, one to graduation, one going early, um, those are the two areas now as we go into this year, how do we fill the three and four spot? You know, and I think we've got some versatility in it. Um, but we gotta have we gotta have October here to just see who who that's gonna be and who we start the year with with the minutes and that obviously can change throughout the season as well. But um, I think those are the two spots. It, it makes sense that that's what we're concerned about filling. Um, but I, I do think we got some guys and some bodies that we may look a little different. You know, if Joan is that guy, he looks different. <laughs> you know, he's not six four, he's six nine. So it, it'll give us a different look. But I think we can do some things that we like to do in our offense where we can post a big guard where we didn't post normal. Coming into year three for you, having been to two Sweet Sixteens now, what does that do to the pressure of, of, of being in a program like UCLA? Well, we're excited. You know, I, to we know two years ago when I got in that locker room, we had seven guys on scholarship. We had eight walk-ons and seven guys on scholarship in my first meeting here. Uh, two years ago. So seeing how that first year, and as I mentioned, and I was so thankful and grateful for that first team, we were Travis and Dave Ware's third coaches. Um, Kyle and Jordan were, you know, pretty much, are we leaving now or are we going to wait one more year? Um, you know, not knowing who was going to come in in that recruiting. We didn't know Zach Levine, didn't know Noah Allen. Um, so we didn't know those guys. Um, Obviously, bringing Bryce and then seeing how that was all going to work out. So, for that first year, to think everything come together like it did, I think that really laid an early foundation that helped us. And then we lose five guys in the NBA. <laughs> and so, last year, we thought it could be a transitional year, you know, just because of last lack of experience, lack of depth. Some things happened in the offseason with eligibilities that, that hurt us, uh, that we didn't have a whole lot of control over, that uh, kind of hurt us. Um, whether it was eligibility or admissions, and that put us behind a little bit. And yet, this team found a way to upper echelon finish in the Pac-12 and make it to the Sweet 16 again. So we lose two more guys to the NBA, but now going into year three, it's the most depth we've had. You know, it's not full yet. I think when we're standing here next year, um, it'll be full depth. It'll be right where we want to be. But I think this is a year where this team has a chance to really grow if we stay healthy uh, to be a fun team because they're, they're really good guys and they the guys that we have coming back with Isaac and Bryce and Tony and Tom, they tasted a little bit of it last year uh, in what was probably what everybody thought would be a transitional deal. They tasted it, now it's about getting back there and see if we can do better. So it's that's exciting to us, you know, where we're moving forward from here. Where do you think Thomas Welsh gained the most from playing the U.S. team this summer? You know, Thomas is such a, a good guy that um, I think, one, making a USA roster. Uh, it's, uh, that One, he had no U UCLA coaches involved. It's actually Coach Miller from Arizona, which is uh, obviously a, a league competitor. And so for a guy like that to show faith um, in Thomas, I think it really gave him a, a big boost with his confidence. And we've seen that when he came back here in July and August, his confidence has been tremendous. Um, he's doing a lot of good things. He just he makes a lot of shots. He's starting to block more shots, so we need that rim presence. And so I think defensively, he'll help us that way as well. But uh, that experience in USA basketball really helped him. Good? Let's go. All right, thanks. thanks.